After the Everest start he had this season, with a 3rd place finish in Bahrain, a P10 in Saudi Arabia and a 4th place finish in Australia, Lewis Hamilton hoped to get back in his shape at Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, but unfortunately things got worse with a 13th place finish at Emola. Even this score wasn't actually easy for Lewis, who struggled to overtake Pierre Gasly. This disastrous result is the second since 2013 in all the 7 times world champion's career to cross the line outside the points. To be a star is a great thing, but when you lose, things go downhill. Following this mediocre performance from he is considered to be an iconic driver in the Formula 1 world, Lewis Hamilton became a special topic for the press and media. Everyone is wondering what is going on with the British driver. From fighting for the historical 8th championship, Lewis tried now to be only in the top 10. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and let's continue. With his teammate George Russell's impressive performance, things are getting even harder for Hamilton, who have been told to admit that Russell is better Mercedes driver right now. In a recent interview, Rob Schumacher believes Lewis Hamilton must admit that his teammate George Russell is better than him on current form. Russell expertly drove through the field to finish P4. Even that Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff said on Hamilton's radio that their car was undrivable, Russell's performance suggests there must be some pace inside the car. The six-time Grand Prix winner Ralf Schumacher went even further saying that he could lose his first place in the team. He has to ask himself why George Russell is much faster than him. A third in place is of course not Hamilton's ambition. He has to admit to himself that Russell is the better driver right now. If this continues in the next few weeks, it will be exciting in the team. There could be changes in the ranking. In fact, Russell is giving a very good performance for a first season in the team after replacing Valtteri Bottas for the 2022 season. With 37 points, Russell is at present fourth in the Drivers' Championship. Just behind Ferrari's Charles Leclerc with this result, he would be the only driver on the grid to finish in the top five in each of the four races. On the other side, Hamilton is practically out of the championship. I'm out of the championship for sure. There is no question about that, but I still keep working as hard as I can to try and pull it back together somehow. Apparently, Hamilton's ambition of achieving a record 8th title is fading away. Following all these events, many have gone to expect that Hamilton will actually retire from the Formula 1. With only 18 months of his current contract lasting, the Canadian Jack Villeneuve wrote on his column for Formula 1, will he even reach the end of the season? Helmut Marko, the Austrian advisor to the Red Bull and head driver's development program, joked to Sky Sport News, I mean, he was loved by us, so maybe he should stop last year. Meanwhile, Christian Hahn, a Red Bull's team principal, seemed to be a little more open-handed and cautious commenting about the same topic. He's obviously had a horrible weekend, but he's still a seven-time world champion. Hahn has said he hasn't forgotten how to drive in the last four races, so at some point they sold their issues out and hell became a factor, I've got no doubt. But obviously the young guys are doing a great job at the moment. Hamilton finally came to answer all this insisting that he's the only one to decide when to retire from Formula 1. Hamilton, who's currently 7th in the standing, with 58 points behind the leader Charles Leclerc, stated, I'll decide when my masterpiece is finished. Hamilton appears to respond to Marcus' claim in Instagram post Wednesday night in the Mercedes garage with the caption, Working on my masterpiece, I'll be the one to decide when it's finished. Despite the tough start he had to manage, a lot of Formula 1 fans and experts consider him already with his achievement as a legendary driver, some of them as the greatest F1 driver of all time. If Hamilton could score his 8th title, he'd mathematically be the most successful driver in the history of this sport. For this season, Lewis keep working on and improving his performance this year saying, we can fix this, it's going to be painful year that we are going to have to ride out together. There is nowhere else I want to be, just because we have hit a rough patch, it's not in my DNA to back out. To support this, Mercedes will soon bring long-awaited upgrades to the next race at Miami next month. That surely will help rectify the main issues the W13 car is suffering from. Talking about the team's trackside engineer director, Andrew Shovlin said, Being realistic, we think this will be something we approach in steps, rather than one big moment but the whole thing vanishes. We're not expecting to solve this overnight, but if we can get a clue that we are in the right direction, that we are really go to the bottom of what's going on, then we'll be quite pleased that we are just moving on the right path. He carried on adding, but we are seeing encouraging signs. We are hoping to bring sparks to the car soon, maybe even Miami, where we can hopefully see progress on the issue. If you like the video, please hit the like button down below and tell us in the comment section 
with the Mercedes car changes really give a result on the track, especially for Lewis Hamilton. The coming days will answer this. Guys, thank you for watching. Stick around. See you next time.